How important is your smile at a job interview? Should I smile and show my teeth? Even if they're all crooked? And if I'm missing both of my front teeth, should I apply for Emirates? Hi, I'm Orlando and you're watching Wishcasting. We do world travel guides and try to get you traveling for free by joining Emirates, one of the highest paying companies with biggest network in the world. Join our tutorials and travel guides every Wednesday and Sunday at 5 p.m. plus 2 GMT. Today's lesson is sponsored by the Emirates Wannabes Facebook group, getting you in touch with real Emirates flight attendants. It's the only online community made of Emirates cabin crew, ex-Emirates cabin crew, and aspiring cabin crew helping each other. Join now, it's free. Find the links down in the description. Hello Emirates Wannabes, I'm really happy to see you all here today with your smiling faces and super motivated. Damn yes, let's get this job. I've listened to your recent requests and decided to help you out in understanding what are the guidelines and limitations on teeth. Before that, how you guys doing? Really, let me know how you're doing in the comments below. I wanna know more about you, if any of you have something to celebrate, something to say, or you're just happy, write it below. Spread that positivity and I'll mention you on my videos. Okay, when you're applying for a job, there are several factors that are taken into consideration. Your grooming, your personality, your personal hygiene, your English skills, and much more. We've covered all of that in our previous episodes, so we won't repeat at all. However, I've been personally asked by over 50 people and counting to do a video about teeth and smile guidelines for joining Emirates. So, here it goes. Your smile falls within the category of personality and personal hygiene. Why? Well, it's obvious. If you don't smile, you'll probably look sort of upset and unnaturally stiff. If you're forcing yourself not to smile, you'll not only look dumb, but also get the recruiter to think that you're hiding something. She'll definitely wait for that moment, you open your mouth and spot whatever you're concealing. On every stage of the recruitment process, recruiters write down your complete profile on a notepad. If you are hiding your smile, they'll write it down and they'll know that they have to pay extra attention to that in your case only. They'll secretly investigate what you're hiding underneath your closed mouth every time you speak, breathe or yawn. It sounds scary. It's building up anxiety inside of you now, right? Yes, I know how it feels, but this is what they must do to keep standards high. Imagine a beautiful lady in the Emirates hat and when she opens her mouth, one tooth is missing, two teeth are golden and one is made out of silver. I mean, Emirates doesn't hire pimps or people like 50 Cents or Lil John and the East Side Boys, right? So before attending an Emirates Open Day, I would really plan it all ahead of time to get through the initial selection where your first appearance strikes as good and there are no doubts at all about you. You don't want the recruiter to label you as Subject number 32 appears like he's not opening his mouth when uh, smiling and, you know, talking. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep an eye out for that guy. Or something like that. What can you do before an open day? First answer yourself some questions like how bad are my teeth? Let's see what is considered as having bad teeth. This link in the upper right corner is our masterclass series on joining Emirates. It's free, it'll always be free, and it's a gold mine. Trust us, follow it from the beginning to the very end. If you're visibly missing a tooth, Emirates won't hire you. If you get a false tooth and fix your smile, then you're fine. But a missing tooth when smiling is just unacceptable and won't get you in the company. That's just normal and it doesn't need much further explanation. If the tooth you're missing is behind the lips range, meaning when you fully smile it isn't visible to the person in front of you, unless she takes a torch and inspects your tooth up close, you're totally fine. So these teeth are absolutely mandatory to have while these other teeth here in the back are hard to see and won't be a problem for you if you're missing them. In any case, don't tell them you're missing teeth or you'll just get discarded and you don't want that, right? Don't complicate things. If your teeth are crooked, it's fine, provided that they're not scary like these ones. Jesus. 
or don't look like a second tongue coming out of your mouth. Zdenka, part of the Wish casting team, I'm sure you know her by now, joined Emirates and worked for them for over four years. Even if she has crooked bottom teeth, she still was selected. She was a fresher, no previous experience as a cabin crew, and she passed with her coral reef teeth. If you have something similar to her teeth, you're fine. But, but, if you have super crooked teeth, going all over the place like a Mikado game, then it will be a problem. At the end of the day, it's just common sense. You know if you can get or can't get the job. Another problem people ask me about are gaps. We'll talk about that on our next video. Now that's it for today's video. We want to thank you for watching till the very end. We thank you for your support and following. It's oxygen for us. We're trying to reach 10,000 subscribers and only your help can make the difference. Subscribe, comment, like, and share if you care supporting us. Feel free to take a look at our popular low-cost travel guides here. Check our entire free Emirates Masterclass course here. We'd love to know your experience in the comments below. If you have any other questions, just ask and I will reply. As always, it's my pleasure to do videos. Hope you liked it and keep it rolling, guys.